Oh, come on. Come on. Get in. There you go. Oh, what, what, what? Where are we going? We're going, we're going around Atlanta. I'm, you know who I am. I'm Zinni Abraham, Zinni62. And I'm going to take you on a tour of Atlanta and the metropolitan area of sorts. And we're going to talk about, we're going to talk best friend forever Atlanta. So get in. How do you make friends in Atlanta? In a place so spread out, you can't easily get around without a car. It's like Los Angeles. For answers, I turn to my friends Rick Cohen and Victoria Ellis. Question I have for Rick is, Rick, is it easy to make friends in Atlanta? There's a lot of transplants here. Well, I would say it's much easier to meet people in Atlanta and make acquaintances. Um, to make friends, it's really difficult. People seem to be over-consumed mm -hmm. by their social media mm -hmm. and everything else that goes on. Texting now is maybe the worst thing yep. that ever happened to relationships. I agree. Um, texting should be used purely for information yep. and not for communication. If not how long in certain areas. Exactly. <laughs> and you know, it, it's uh, to me, it's, it's really taking away on building some relationships, male and female. Yep. Together yeah. or just friendships. Yeah, so I quite agree. Yeah. On the subject of guys and guys night out and meeting people and meeting friends, um, is it is it hard to meet anybody? Atlanta is actually a very tough place to meet people if you don't know where to go. You have to really research the different places to go and the different neighborhoods and be extra outgoing and really you know try harder to meet people. Now, I can't imagine, wait, I can't imagine you as outgoing. I mean, folks, don't you think she's like she's really shy? You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, it's still, it's hard. You have to know the right places to go. You have to really, there's niches, there's different neighborhoods and different isolated spots in Atlanta. But once you find out where to go, Atlanta's a great city and there's some great people here. Okay, folks, on the subject of friends, I've also turned to Jennifer Macheski, who has the famous blog, Atlanta on the Cheap. The area, how can I get to know who's here? I'm a writer by trade, so I started writing for publications, and uh, I write a lot of arts and entertainment types of pieces, lifestyle pieces, so they would send me out to places, and I would kind of meet people while I was out there, and get to know the people who are actually running the organizations as well. I have to ask, were you married before you came there? Yes, I've been married for almost 14 years. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, and you know, I've got two kids. So a lot of, you know, once you have kids, that's your easy end to any number of friendship opportunities. But even for the single folks, we have quite a few opportunities for ways that people can get out and explore the city and meet new people. And we have a lot of, um, like the high, uh, the Woodruff Arts Center has Friday night jazz. You know, they oh. have mixers to get people in after hours. And the high is right over here, right? Right, 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 right over there. High Museum, the High Museum of Art. Yes. Yes, and the interesting and engaged group of people. They like being in the city. They like exploring things and talking about it, and talking to each other, and talking to just about anyone. Um, they're a very happy and social group. So it's it's actually a really lovely place to be when you're someone like me who likes to be out and about. Right. Jennifer's talking about people who use social media, like you and me. But the bottom line is that Atlanta is a hard place to make good friends. You have to get out, try, then get out and try again, and keep in touch with people, and really do your own events. Atlanta's tough, but you gotta make it happen.